And welcome back to the Conscious Consultant Hour, Awakening Humanity. For those who were watching me on the Facebook live stream, I was told I had to restart the video, so I restarted it. So this one will be in two parts. Um, I hope you, you're on. I see Kai back on. Thank you, Jeff. Welcome back. So uh, my theme for this show that I put in the newsletter was it's about the journey. And I wanted to talk about that this time of year because it's that time of year when people start talking about their goals for next year and they're looking, reviewing their goals for 2017 and we're all about the goal. And goals are great, except when they're not. Except when we get all upset at ourselves because we didn't meet our goal. Or when we do meet our goal, but we sacrificed our health in order to get to our goal. In this society, it promotes us having to focus on the achievement, having to like reach this pinnacle at all costs, no matter what it takes. And one of my favorite sayings now is, you cannot have a happy ending to an unhappy journey. If you have not been focusing on a joyful way to get to your goal, that goal will never bring you joy. Perhaps for a minute, perhaps for five seconds, perhaps for a day or two. Maybe you'll get a bonus and you'll spend that bonus and it'll be gone and you'll feel just as empty as you did before. Because it's not about the goal. We got to get this goal-oriented society to shift, to realize that the only goal that we really need that serves us the most is to find as much joy in the moment as we can, because all we have is the present moment. Now, does this mean we don't make plans? Does this mean we don't have things that we want to do, ideas to implement, changes we want to make? No, of course not. But we only do it because it feels right and joyful. And how we get there, we only do in a joyful manner. Doesn't mean it's always going to be easy. Life is not easy. Or I should say, it's only as easy as we make it. We have to be the ones to decide to make life fun. We are the ones who make it fun by being a little more playful, like wearing a purple feather bow when you're talking about this stuff. <laughs> We're the ones who lift up people's spirits. Let's stop looking to someone else to be more fun. We're the ones who need to be more fun. Like my friend Zena, who just joined us. She's a really fun person. I love Zena. She is so much fun, if you've seen any of her Facebook posts. Um, and it's by having fun with yourself, with your friends, with your family, with your kids. That's how we enjoy life. That's how we reach an amazing achievement. Because we do it not by so much focusing on the goal and where we're going to be a year from now and what are all the things we're going to accomplish. accomplish. We do it by focusing moment per moment. How do I have more fun? How do I do this in a more fun way? How do I do this and, and have it uplift me and fulfill me? Those are the kinds of questions we ask ourselves. Tony Robbins says all the times, the quality of your life is determined by the quality of the questions that you ask yourselves. So we got to start asking ourselves better quality questions. Because if, if we reflect on it and we just look at what kinds of questions usually are bouncing around inside our heads, it's usually questions like, why did you do that dumb thing? Like, why is the world the way it is? Like, why are things so awful? You know, I, when I coach my clients and I work with people, I always tell them all the time, stop asking the why questions. They don't work. They don't empower us. They don't enable us. They don't add anything to our life. But when we ask the how questions, how can I be better? How, but, how can we have more fun? 
How can I get more hearts on my Facebook stream? Thank you, Zena. I love you too. Mwah. How can we do something in more joy? Then we change our lives. Then we can have truly a happy journey. Do you have, you have any questions around this? Do you have anything to contribute? Call in on our 800 number, 877-480-4120. Happy to have you be part of the conversation. Comment on the Facebook live stream. Would love to have you there. And maybe I can get a little sneaky person on the microphone with me with the initials KC. <laughs> so, Kai Cole, how do you have more fun in your life? by asking fun questions. <laughs> Ooh, what's a fun question, Kai? I actually had this conversation with Lee Noto. Ooh, another fun person. I love Lee Noto. Yeah, and we were really, really getting into the fun questions that we can ask. Like, ah. how magical can this be? Ooh, how magical can this be? Ooh, let me see if I can get her on the Facebook live stream. <laughs> Ooh, help, when we start to wonder how magical things can be, the magic really starts to show up. Like, it's not right. a joke. Yeah, exactly. Like, how does it get any better than this, right? Exactly, Ooh. exactly. How perfect can this be? How perfect can this be? <laughs> awesome. What more can I learn from this? Mm, mm -hmm. I love that one. What more? Yes. Absolutely. So I do pride myself in asking really good questions. And those are a lot of the questions that I'll be asking in 2018. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> so I make sure to tune into her show, Our Daily Woo! Magic. Uh, 2 p.m. every Thursday, starting in 2018. Well, continuing in 2018. How about you, Dal? What are great questions you ask yourself? One that I love to ask, especially when I'm in my, I guess what you call spiritual meditation and uh -huh. feeling energy and tapping into that source, how deep within that source I can get into. Ooh, how deep can I go? I love that one. I love it. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Or also just being in the moment. Mm. How can I be more present? How can I enjoy this moment even more? Oh, how can I enjoy this moment even more? Yeah. You know what he did there? Did you notice that? That even more? That's a really important technique. Mm. Because what that says is, I'm already enjoying myself, but how do I get even more joy out of it? Right? Let's not you know, uh, uh, push aside the fact that we may already be having fun. We may already be doing good stuff. We may already be, uh, you know, uh, having amazing time. But that doesn't mean there can't be an even more amazingness in this time. How can I have even more fun? How can I be even more in the flow? How can I be even more spontaneous? How can I, ev how can I even surprise people even more? How can I be in the moment with the people who are here around me? How can I feel them even more? How can I be present with them even more? How can I notice them even more? How can I respect them even more? How can I learn from them even more? Especially from those people, and some of them tend to be relatives, who trigger us like crazy. How do I learn to appreciate being triggered by this person even more? What lessons are there for me to learn by being triggered about myself in this moment? How can I take this feeling of being triggered and turn it into something ecstatic for myself? And how can I be an example for others to do the same? We all affect the people around us, one way or another. We're either affecting them or we're infecting them. <laughs> As one of my friends liked to say, we're either infecting them with our negativity or we're affecting them by our example of leadership, of kindness, of generosity, of positivity, of upliftment. So, how do we take stock? How do I tip the scales even more in the direction of affecting people instead of infecting people? How do I give more? 
how do I allow more support into my life so I can be an even better vessel for spirit? How do I allow my higher spirit, my greater self, that part of me that is beyond this physical reality of myself, how do I allow that to come through in my life in an even greater manner? How do I allow my light to shine even brighter that anyone who wishes to see can see it? How do I create an even more enjoyable show for my listeners? For you, the people out there who are listening from around the globe, how do I create even something greater? I am so humbled lately by all the wonderful new shows we've got on the station. More and more amazing people have been coming to this network. More and more people, amazing people. I'm booked up. I'm not like Joan and Priya booked up till June. I'm only booked up until March. But I'm sure uh, that will go pretty quickly. But I have some amazing, amazing people booked onto my show for next year. Oh, welcome, June. Welcome to the Facebook live stream. We've got to get you here in studio, June. She's got a lot to share. And people are contributing. You may want to look at the Oh, people are contributing. All right. I've got to check our GoFundMe page. So everybody, please stay tuned because when we come back, We're going to continue talking about the journey, and you still have an opportunity to tell us about your journey. Call in, 877-480-4120. We'll put you on the air and find out how you create a magnificent journey in your life. We'll be right back. 